All right, if you're thinking about uh, upgrading your Sprite extruder here to the new hot end, this is the ceramic one. This is the correct one for the Sprite Pro Kit. This is not for just the Sprite Drive on your SE and KE. Those are going to be taking the K1 uh, nozzle. So we're going to switch out this old style heater block to the new ceramic heater block. It's a very simple process. On the side here, you see those three screws. Those three screws are held in right here. When you take those three screws out, it just pops right out. Don't forget to remove your ribbon cable, and you end up with this right in your hand. Pop it off, and you have two wires you're going to remove. This red one here, and this other copper one with the red tip. That's going to be your heating element, and that's going to be your thermistor. So you're going to remove these two. We're going to do that real quick. So we've removed the two. Now if you look right here, there's a little black screw. You're going to remove that black screw, loosen it up. And I'm going to remove the silicone sock and expose how you can get out those two other screws you see to the left and right there of the throat. So once you remove the silicone sock off, you'll notice there's some hex bolts there. You're going to remove those. Those are what actually hold your heater block into your heat sink. So let's remove those now. I went ahead and removed the two screws, the two long ones that hold the heater block into the heat sink, and the actual tensioner that holds on the throat in here. So now this should actually be able to twist and just pop off. Just needed two hands, and it pops right out. And on the inside here, this is the boron nitride, and I have some here to replace for the new hot end going in. So we're done with this one. Let's put in the new one. Real simple and easy, we're going to put some boron nitride right on the end of this, and then we're going to jam it back in the hole. One second. Alright, that's about as much. It's a little bit still too much, but it'll burn itself off. And we're going to install this now into the throat. You just wiggle it in, should go in nice and smooth. Since the thermistor and heater unit is right here, I think we're good in this position, or we could turn it this way. I prefer this way to come around. And now we're going to screw this back in. There we go, all plugged back in. I'll tidy these wires up a little bit so they're not dangling around the edge here. And we're technically done. Now we just gotta put it on and make sure it works. Nozzle should be below the fan, which it is. So we're good to go. All right, we threw it back on the S1 Pro. Actually, it's just an S1 with all the Pro upgrades to it. So we're now going to have to change the Z offset since we have changed the nozzle height. So we're going to go ahead in and do the calibrations for the Z offset on this. So now my new Z offset is plus 0.95. Going to have to adjust those settings because it's not stock anymore. Looks like we got quite a bit of stringing. But we'll take care of that. We are printing though. If you found this informative and you'd like more videos like this, just like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you want to see on the next video. As always, happy printing.